Hi everyone, welcome back to Love to Boogie, that's a stitch, this is Lourdes. And so, today is May 10th, and this is probably my 19th time trying to record this. So we're just going to go with it, and whatever happens, we're just going to post it. Uh, what had happened was, I filmed a fantabulous floss tube in April, and it was super long, and I showed you all kinds of stuff, and I talked about all kinds of fun things, and blah blah blah, and then there was no audio at all. Zippo zero nothing and then I was like oh I can do super cool I can do a voiceover no no not the thing so here we are hopefully this is a recording audio if not we're just gonna give up um and thank you to Pam and Steph from Just Keep Stitching which gave me a great idea I don't know the name of the flock tuber they were talking about but they talk about someone who just did it in um, pieces and then piece it together as they were stitching and I'm having an incredibly busy um, work time and so I and personal lifetime so I was like you know what let me just film whatever I can and then I will sew this together in the video world so hi welcome back I love to boogie which means I love to dance and I love to stitch um, I finished nothing so if you're new to my channel and you really get stressed out by lots of whips and no finishes stop now thank you for dropping by I have some high recommendations of people you can see who finish fantabulous things get them framed get them done to pillows they're they are amazing women and men I am NOT that human and uh, yeah life is too short for that kind of pressure for me so I just enjoy the process I enjoy the accumulating of things the curating and the kind of creating a museum for stitch products in my house so welcome along to the journey. So um, one thing I instituted or trying this month is this big binder and that is to try to keep track of what I have shown you and what I have not. But since I filmed this wonderful voiceless video, I don't know what the heck I showed you or not because we've been doing this for a bit. So I'm going to jump in here, try to find the page where I have all of the new stuff I bought and we'll just start with new things first. So here is where I spent my good heart on money. Um, sponsored by me yay and my work and let's see I got from um, just keep stitching and I actually just got something from them today excuse the crinkle sounds so just keep stitching not just keep stitching no keep six in Ohio um, got this from them this is their store cat uh, 310 and I am getting the big city Christmas series from them so this is the department store. Uh, I grew up in New York City and Hoboken, New Jersey. Uh, so this is where I live. So big cities like speak to me. And then when I moved to Dominican Republic, we lived in a huge city there as well for the country uh, called Santiago. This is toy store. And so um, big city is the thing. When I lived in Santiago, going to the countryside, like to the farms and stuff was the thing that everyone did on the weekend. This is street scene. Is that a cab? Oh my gosh. My ex-father-in-law drove a yellow taxi cab and my dad drove a taxi cab. So this is great. Um, so anyway, so uh, people go to the countryside for the weekends and for me, that was like, what did I do wrong? I got good grades. Like why do I, why am I being forced to go out someplace where there's only outhouses and extreme heat? Now my parents live out there, it's much cooler, but it was so hot. I don't know what, that's all I associate with it when I was a kid. Um, and then this is the hotel from Big City Christmas. And then today I received the restaurant. So I'm super excited about those. Um, thank you so much, Keep Six. I also got from Keep Six today. I am going to be joining um, Pam from Just Keep Stitching. I'm going to be joining her Sal, which is Pam's. Survivor song, I think is the hashtag. I'll put it in there. Um, and this is to honor her 30 year diagnosis and health from cancer. And um, in this, they have a colors that are associated with different kinds of cancers. And um, sadly but true, I made a list of women and men in my circle who have been impacted by cancer. Um, 
and a few have passed and some have not. So I want to incorporate their initials or their full names maybe. Yeah, think about how I could chart that. And um, and then in and then represent their cancer with the color. So thank you for the colors and thank you uh, Keepsakes for having this for me. Also full disclosure, I also ordered this through another provider, but I plan to give my sister that as a gift um, when we meet up. So that would be cool. Another thing I got was, uh, this was inspired by Brenda at Heart uh, Handwork Maniac, and it's because she's so into chickens now, and she had this really funny saying about parents knowing um, what it is to be pecked to death. Uh, I'm not a parent, so you could just assume. I'm a proud aunt. So got this, may have shown you this before. If I did, sorry, don't remember. And this is from Stacy Nash um, Designs, and it's Spring Chickens Pen Keep. It's really cute it's very prim um, I did get the colors and everything so I don't know um, and you know I don't like stitching white maybe I'll do sulky hmm. I don't know but stitching white is not my thing then I lost my mind um, and I went on to heaven and earth designs website and I decided that yeah that more because I didn't have enough more ginormous big a patterns was the thing to do so um here is uh may may here's may may and may may has so many beautiful things to show on her um yeah and i don't think i would do the background on may may i think i would only do may may and like on the branch um and i have her on my ipad and if i remember i'll show you her on my ipad so you can see some of like the things that were like really called out to me then there's this guy, the Cavalier Cat. Not only did I get the Cavalier Cat, I got it max colors. Who do I think I am? Please observe this cat. Now, on this one, I definitely need to show you him on my iPad. But look at the mask. The mask is a fish. Did I realize that when I first bought it? No. After I saw it on my iPad, I was like, look at that. And look at that other detail. Yeah, I can't say I'm not the most observant person. At work, I, I call myself detail-oriented, and obviously not. And then what about this guy? Okay, down here. Like, this guy down here, in his pocket, you can't even see that. In his pocket. Like, okay. I'll show you him in my iPad, because I can't see myself on the screen here. And then I brought Dreaming of Spring. Uh, by the way, I bought this twice. I obviously liked it a lot, but I bought it two years ago. Note to self, check your stash before you buy another one. So here's here's this cutie. And this is Dreaming, Dreaming of Spring on Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, I bought this one also influenced. I want to say it was Pam or Steph from Just Keep Stitching. Yeah, obviously I watched them too much. Or it may have been the Sentine Stitchers. Actually, let's, let's share the love there and the guilt and the pleasure of enabling me. Thank you. Let me enable you. The New Rhapsody by Rosewood Manor. You can do this in any color. I ordered the call for threads, um, and the call for threads are uh, navy and sky. Is it navy and sky? Hmm. Workplace? No. White? Workplace. You see, I'm thinking about work way too much. Um, my brain is scattered. I don't know. Anyway, I ordered them. They're in blues. blues are, I love blues. I love teal. Uh, but, and I'm waiting for the fabric. I ordered, um, I wanted to do in the same fabric that I'm doing uh, Autumn Quaker on. So I ordered the fabric. No idea what that's, called, what that's at. Isaac and I are taking our belated honeymoon. Uh, two years late but we committed and we're doing it there was lots of really good reasons we delayed and we decided to go to Barcelona Spain so um, I saw this from Sassuma Street and I thought this would be a great tribute to our uh, second year anniversary and our honeymoon and I plan to start it before we leave probably in September and then take it with me so I can stitch um, I tend to when I'm traveling at, at night as I unwind I want to stitch in bed so um, even if it's just a few stitches there'll be a few stitches done in Barcelona for Barcelona Ta -da! Uh, Blackbird Designs United We Stand it has several patterns it has this uh, pillow it has this scissor holder 
and then there is this book um, inside. And let me see if I can show you a better picture. So look how beautiful. Okay, first of all, their photographs are amazing. Like really, really tell the story of what you are creating and really invoke an uh, image of something I would love. Sometimes I look at what people do with their pictures and I'm like, were you trying not to show me the design? Like you really didn't want me to know where I was stitching? But <laughs> this is amazing. So that was great. Are you guys seeing a trend here? Here's the trend. Let me give you a little secret. The trend here is to purchase lots of patterns and then look at the bins. Look at the bins. There's two more over here. And be like, yeah, we'll, we'll finish them someday or start them someday. Shannon Christine Design, Cup of Cheer. I love these colors. I got all the colors. I'm ready to go. Super excited. Shannon Christine Designs, Autumn Blossoms. I am for certain that I got, I got uh, influence. I am not original whatsoever. It's not like I'm finding hidden patterns. I'm like legit finding people online and going, yes, there you go. Tiny modernists. These bell pulls are everything. So I got the Christmas one, and then I got the Halloween one. And I loves it. Um, so and I'm thinking of using uh, black sulky instead of 310. I have used anchor before. I don't know about that. And then this is Halloween letters by Primrose Cottage. Uh, super cute. By the way, before this year, I had nothing from Primrose, and now I'm on a Primrose cake. And that is it for I like. That's it for things that are in this bin. Um, so give me a second and I'll show you what Isaac brought me from Spain. Straight from the Canary Islands to me via picture first and then he went back and bought it. I had no sense of size so I thought this box was like this tall and then the box is this tall. <laughs> so um, he got about me too but this is actually embroidery. It's a DMC embroidery kit. Um, it comes with the pattern already traced on the fabric and the hoop and all of the threads. So. Um, I think I told you, or maybe this is the video where my voice is gone, I told you that my mom taught us how to embroider. That was the first thing I learned from a needle arts, and then I learned it later. And then I kept it in the bag just because I think this bag is so cute. Um, but here are some of the magazines and patterns that he got me in Spain. Um, he got, okay, he was in the Canary Islands. Look it up. It's off the coast of Africa, south of the peninsula, off the coast of Africa is the Canary Islands, okay? This is what he got me there. Please observe the name of it. So he got me this. This is, I believe, from 1994. And um, I think it's hilarious and it's cute and it's kitty boutique. And there's some patterns in here that I really like. Um, I think these are hysterical. So, uh, with all the hats, um, I had two cats, blue and negra, and then I had a cat when I was a kid. His name was Leo. So, um, no cats now because Isaac's allergic, but on the kitty cat. Then he got me this design, which it's a DMC, but I looked these guys up. I want to say they're from Norway, from Denmark. Um, if you can see it, it's like a really pretty basket of purple flowers of some sort. This is the name of the distributor, no idea, or manufacturer, or publisher, whatever the name is, and then the DMC. Um, it, and it comes with everything on a card. The good thing is the pattern also, oops, that pattern also calls out what the number is in DMC so that, you know, I can acquire more thread, which I think is great. Talked to you guys last time about Spanish magazines that I love. Um, and so this is Labores del Punto de Cruz. It's a publication. This is the baby and baby. It's a baby edition. Um, this one is also from a gazillion years ago. I think I found it at some point in here. Um, again, not recent. Very, um, it's been a while. But um, oh, I'm trying to find a page that doesn't have a design of a pattern. So you see, these are cute. I don't even know what those are, but those are cute. And then these are little babies, little 
So uh, very, very cute. I, I loved it. And I super appreciate that he thought of me while he was traveling. And then I ordered some stickers. Um, I found these online, did not know this company. This company is called Paper Dolls. And um, they're from my Hobonichi, basically. You know, I got some of these in Hobonichi, but uh, look how look how cute these are. So I got some stickers. I'm using them in my planner. Uh, love the idea of decorating up my planner. So, and I love the fact I'm supporting a small business of this else. Um, if I find a place in the states that either sells these or designs something similar, happy to support here too. Um, but super cute. How did I find this on Instagram? Somebody posted that they were decorating their thing with this, and of course I was enabled. Ta -da. Okay, guys, that is my new stuff. Um, I think if I find anything else, I'll let you know, and then I'll be back in a few hours probably, and uh, see what else I can show you today. Okay, I have a little bit of time. Wow, I don't even understand what I said. I have a little bit of time. Talk about enunciating. You guys ever take communication classes in college? That was the hardest part for me. Slow down, enunciate. Anywho, um, completely non-stitch related. I received this catalog about biking cruises, river cruises through Europe, basically. Yes, that's all I have to say, yes. <laughs> so um, I have a big birthday at the end of the year so I was thinking maybe in 2024 taking a fun um, cruise through a river and I thought that would be a wonderful way to see a country or a few countries um, and kind of get like the cruising experience and the city experience I digress anyhow here is where we are I'm gonna be inserting pictures because some of these patterns I don't have them physically and I don't have my iPad because we're just gonna be like a little sprucey here um, this is Jane Eyre it is a sow the sow has ended I am still doing this so here she is and um, I am working on this side going down I had to frog here because I did it the wrong color but this is the progress since the last time that beauty then I took her out of craft prison and have been working on her really hard. This is um, Dark Queen of the Earth. Her face came out. Oh, so, so beautiful. It, um, this is my progress over here. I have a mushroom to do and then finish here and then I'm able to scroll down. So that is fantabulous. I'm loving this one. Um, don't tell my mother, but I'm thinking of giving it to her as a gift. But don't tell her because then she's going to start with the when are you going to be done? So she doesn't know anything about it. We'll just keep it our secret. She she uh, commented on it when she was visiting and just saying how beautiful and how um, it just it looked like a painting and she thought it was beautiful. So I was like, oh, maybe it'll be a great thing for her. But then if I tell her, then she's gonna drive me insane and then life is too short. So uh, this is Reflections of Amsterdam. Now hopefully you can see it. This is, um, I'm telling you nothing about any fabrics or anything. So uh, the Dark Queen of the Earth is on call, all, all the call for, everything will be in the box below because I just don't remember anything and I don't have, I'm being scrappy people. Let's be scrappy. Okay, so this one is on 36 count, I think, or 40 count, um, I remember, but it's all one variegated thread, so it's really nice to work on. And it's my first roller frame which I'm enjoying. Um, this is the, something held my hand. Okay, I'll put the name in. So, there's the guy. Uh, this one again is like either 36 count or 40 count. There's the doggy. I haven't made much progress on it. Well, from here, it looks like I did nothing. But there's like a gazillion stitches right there. Let's see if you can see him. Yep, there you go. So, uh, that is, not a not a stitch along um but definitely um it's an honor of me and isaac because i like what it says about holding hands and that's how isaac and i started out with holding hands uh, let's see this is what we call the water and trees cell um this is from modern folk embroidery uh dreaming of dreaming of winter 
Carbon, maybe. Boy, am I knocking this out of the park today. Again, I'll put the name on the bottom. Here you go. That's my progress. I am behind. This little guy took the life out of me. So I'm going to whip this one out and finish. It actually goes really fast once. Um, so, And I know that my partner in crime, Stacy, had a um, fun time getting her borders to meet up. So I'm hoping that my borders play nicer. Please, pretty please, don't, don't do that to me. Uh, I'll be right back. I started this one. This is an April start. This is Afternoon in Paris by Crowded uh, Country Cottage Needleworks. It is on Sandstone Ada 32 count. And that's my progress. So, homage to hometown. Um, I only bought three of these. I think there's four, but I bought New York, London, and Paris. London I've been to uh, for work, but it counts. And then uh, someday I, I hope to go to Paris. So, um, that one's actually not that bad of a stitch and pretty good. As you can see, I'm leaving all my needles just stuck in there. So there is that guy. This is the bag for it. And ooh, for my whip go calls for this month, um, you know, I spin, I do all kinds of crazy things. Um, Autumn Quaker was called again. I purposely have on paper there on a few times because I want to like have some progress. I have not pulled it out yet. This is the May basket. So yeah, I'll, put it, I'll hold it back here. This is the whole length of the fabric. I don't think I need the whole length. Um, I think it ends pretty here. But in any case, this is the whole length and I plan to do whatever goes in here. Uh, go this way, square it off and then come back into the middle. But the way I do Quakers, I mean, not Quakers, the way I do Sanford's is I just travel along. Whatever the next color I like. No big pressure there. I love that fabric, and so I ordered that fabric for the other finish. This guy is a round go, World Go Round by Teresa Covet. This is the Sal for the Crazy Eights uh, Sal. And, um,. This is in honor of us uh, meeting each other, and this is on Color and Cotton Moss 32 count. And so, as you'll see when I insert the picture, this is um, the bear is completely done, and then the fox. Is it a fox? I think it's the fox. So, I plan to take this with me when I travel because it's small and easy and light. Cold fresh from the bin needs to be started this month because it is part of my whip go board sleepy hollow lodge it's ginormous i know uh this bad boy is 144 by 90 and uh, that is a big house so that is it's all fully kitted it is ready um and this is going to be on sage summer cocky jubilant even week. I've been doing really good with starting things. I mean, then again, that's not really the problem, right? Starting is fine. It's the other side. Be right back. Let me see if I can find any more of my stuff. I have two baskets now. That should be an indication. Should that be an indication? Should I worry? I really don't. I wonder why I wonder if you if you worry about me. Because you shouldn't. Like I want to relieve that burden from you. You don't have to worry about me. It is okay. My madness is known by those who love me. And they accept this madness. Have you watched Queen Charlotte? If you have not watched Queen Charlotte, please go watch it on Netflix. I hope you watched all the Bridgerton series. I've read all the books. Um, but in Queen Charlotte, she has a, um, there is one sentence she says, I will wait till you watch it so I can share with you. Uh, but it is when she is talking to the doctor on the steps, for those of you who have watched it. And um, I feel the same way, basically. San sanity is not the goal. Happiness is the goal. I just told you the line. Whatever. You'll see. Um, home for the holidays. Cooler classics. It's going to be on 16 count natural Ada uh, is what I have kitted up for it. Um, and I have all of the call for colors. So this is what it's going to be on. 
and I'll insert the picture there. So we'll see how that one progresses as the other new stuff. Hey there, uh, another day, another recording. I just got this. I haven't even opened it yet. Let's see what it is. So exciting. Just the one you need to get a picture. So I went to see Joe Rogan last night with my neighbor. Um, apparently he opened a comedy club here in Austin. And it's Joe and Friends, or Joe Rogan and Friends. It's okay. Ooh. This is Stitch Like a Flamingo. Okay, we're gonna do this real quick because I have to go back to work. And um, they come to all the pretty stuff. And this is, I love that. I always love their packaging. Specialty floss. Let's see who it is. Ooh, this is pretty. This is from Live and Die LA. Look at that. That is really pretty. You know what? That would be pretty for um, Pam's, um, oh gosh, Sal, uh, commemorating the cancer. What do you think? Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. Let's see. What is this? It comes in a little bag. I always have to cut things because that's how I roll. I have to take a shower. Um, well, you know, take a shower a day. But today work started super early and then I didn't have time. I had a long commute from my bedroom to this room. But anyway, um, oh my God. <laughs> it is a flamingo. Um, I don't know what it is, but it is a flamingo. Let's look at to see what it says it is because that's hysterical. Uh, so specialty floss and this must be the oh it's a floaty <laughs> the major drink oh my gosh yes i see i see it now i don't have a pool but i will go to the community pool and i will take it with me um there are these two ipads for cool and hot for my puffy eyes adorbs did i tell you guys i lived in florida for 16 years and I had no, not one flamingo in my house. And look, there's Ricky. Ricky's making a star appearance. This is Laura's Flamingo 32 Count Lugana. Let's take it out of the packaging to see what it says about it. Ignore my work painting in the background. Ooh, that's pretty. That's cute. And then it says, did you know flamingos gather in colonies of up to thousands? No, I did not know that. Okay, more stuff. Look, it matches my hair on most days. This is what my hair looks like, for, for sure. And I think it looks great, because it's curly and bouncy, and you can't tell that I'm losing a crap load of it. Yay me. Um, let's see something. Why, why was I trying to do that? I can't do that. Da, 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 da. It is retreated in a box exclusive. Da, da, da. Hi, you You want to smell it? Want to smell it? Yep, there you go. You smell it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Hold on. Put it in here, Ricky and Lucy have to smell it. Look at that needle in there. Isn't that cute? I'm trying to not get the reflection, but you guys want to smell it? There you go. There's no food. You see, they think this crinkling sound sounds like they're treats. It's like um on YouTube, not YouTube, on Instagram. I saw a video like that where it's like you can crinkle certain things, and the dogs are like, nope, I'm gonna stay through that. But then you crinkle something that sounds like they're snack food, and they're like, yes. And then, oh, I love these. Oops, hold on. This is a floss drop ring or a floss ring. And I love, and this is, it says fabric flock shop. Can you see that? Can you see? There you go. Love that. I love everything. I know. I know. But you know. Ooh. What is this? Where's my piece of paper? 
Let's see. This is a stand tall storage bin. A collapsible fabric storage bin. Perfect for organizing and adding bits of your whimsy to your craft. Got it, you got it. Almost got it. Almost got it. Look at that. This is coming with me. I love it. I love things that can travel with me. I, I travel a lot and so and the fact that it's collapsible and I can I can move things around. Oh yes. And you shall be utilized immediately, my friend. How cute is that? That's really nice. My little project bag, pink inside. Definitely, definitely going to be used immediately, as my niece says. That's my niece's joke. She's like, immediately. And then, ooh, hands on design. I really like them. I like their work. Not that I've stitched much of their stuff, but I own a lot of it. Hands on design, a fancy flamingo. I would be a fancy flamingo. Look at that. I love this box. This box has been fantabulous. Thank you all from um, Black Needle Society, as always. Not, no disappointment here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Try to get to, to see you my progress that I made in April and a little bit of progress I've made in May. Bye. Another day and I'm back. Okay, so first of all, sorry for the reflection in my glasses. Can't figure out how to get light in here and not get the reflection in the glasses. The windows are behind you. So here's the exciting news. Cynthia and I were supposed to go to uh, Stitching Texas, which is a retreat held right outside of Dallas in Flower Mound. But um, she wasn't well. She had a whole bunch of things that happened um, in her world and she wasn't able to make it out. So we decided to cancel. That was uh, in April. Um, but that same weekend or week, like those days, something fantabulous happened. We got in. This is StitchCon. Yes. So we got into Weekend B. We shall be there, me and my sister. Uh, we're super excited, so we were able to what, save our spend and our um, travel and hotels and everything for, for the Stitching Texas retreat, and we will be in Cincinnati. Super excited, super, super excited. So anyway, um, we are really, really happy to have gotten in, and uh, just luck happened that she could get the time off, and so could I, and everything else. So see you there, weekend B, yay. This is part of the program where I show you things that I showed you during my um, wonderful voiceless video. So it's going to feel to me like I told you this twice, but for you, it would be only once. Um, and ta-da! So we're going to start with the blue flower and we are doing the holiday card 2021. It's this guy. I'm doing this guy up here and this is the... That's the back side. This is the front side. Which way does this go? This goes this way. Yeah, I believe it goes this way. I don't know. I think it goes this way. We may check it out and realize it goes another way. But there it is. So, Mr. Blue Flower. Like I said before, I'm doing this the fast and dirty way. So, trying to figure out how to show you patterns while I show you my things. So, I don't have my cables to hook up my iPad, so I'm just hold up the iPad in my app glare. Let's just roll with it, people. Also, if you have curly hair or don't have curly hair and you wonder what happens when you brush curly hair, this is what happens, like this frizz city of things. So we're just going to make believe this is not going on the interwebs where forever people can see just how lovely your hair looks. So I'm going to be showing you all the patterns on the iPad and then I'll show you the um, what I worked on. I worked on Welcome to the North Pole, Primrose Cottage Stitches, and um, it is a beautiful pattern. I'm enjoying it. 
and this is the top row as far as I got. I got this is fun and then I go across there um, and this guy is being done on tea leaves Ada by color and cotton I believe it's 18 count I didn't write it down but pretty sure that that's that's what it is this is something I bought on Etsy it's called home is where home and me come together this is making it for Michael Madre. Her last name is H-O, it's Ho. So I thought that was hysterical. And I am, uh, this is the progress I've made. This is the, yeah, this is the leaf. This is the leaf next to the H, this one here. So that is, this is on a Bee Stitch Me fabric. And it is on a Bee Stitch Me fabric. Peanut Lugana 32 count. Um, and it is coming up, the color is coming up correctly on the screen. So I'm hoping to have that done by Thanksgiving. I want to I want to be able to give it to her Thanksgiving, Christmas-ish. Um, but I think it would be fun to have it for her for Thanksgiving. But you know, we'll see. This one is Rosewood Manor's Old Feathers. And um, I'm doing this in Sulky. I am doing it on 36 count antique white with the selfie called for it. So um, what I was trying to accomplish here was finish the whole motif and then kind of go to the next one down. I was thinking of going down, straight down to the peacock was my intention. Um, and then kind of come back and, and finish out one side. So that's what I'm trying to do. I like to, uh, stitching on sulky. I actually have a few patterns going on sulky, mainly because I don't like sometimes how my stitches look um, with two threads, and I'm a little too blind to do a really high stitch counts where you can just do one thread, um, and I do not like the prim look. So that's my other challenge there. I showed this one a little earlier, um, but here's the pattern. This is um, how it became us, and I only had the doggy done, so now you have a point of reference. I know I'm, I'm horrible with this video, I'm like all over the place, but there you go. And then I also showed earlier the ink circles, reflections of Amsterdam. So I put some work in on the ton, tiny modernist. Um, your own kind of beautiful and this is the progress so far I love the colors and so I'm gonna go next to the flowers and I'm gonna skip over all of the chicken hens and figure out if I actually want to include them or not and this is on a uh, vanilla latte Lugana by B stitch me 32 count and so again I'm going to kind of um, focus on the butterfly, going next to the butterflies probably, and the flowers. I love me a sal so that I could just not keep up, but this is the Sunny Side Sampler. Um, it's being done by uh, many people online, and I believe that uh, Brenda, Handwork Maniac, Pam from Just Keep Stitching, uh, a few others, and I believe Colette is the one who um, subdivided the pattern for everyone it is uh i'm doing it on the call for threads which is the first time i worked on silks it is beautiful um i don't know i didn't touch it much in april and so but i did you know kind of finish this house out i am went from the center start and i am going towards the left um on the pattern so that is where i'm at I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. I like I like the fabric. I like the silks. And the fabric is 32 count Lugana, not another sampler by B Stitch Me. It's really pretty. Um, and if you want to see how big this would be, you know, I don't unfold anything. This is, well, you know, it was a sensor start, so figure it out. <laughs> I cracked myself up. So what are you guys doing this Saturday? Today's Saturday. Started recording these things I think it was Monday or Tuesday um, it finally rained here in Texas it has been so humid and so I am thrilled that the rain came it was a huge thunderstorm last night so okay 
This is Shannon Christine's Designs, and this is um, hand-painted tiles. I am doing it in blues, although she does give you instructions on how to do it, I think, in purples and green, maybe? Um, and I started with the center motif, and I almost abandoned this project. Uh, I'm doing it on 32 count evenly from Antique White, and I just wasn't feeling it. Like, it's a lot of color changes, and it's just three colors. But I then realized that I'm at the top of this motif already. So here it is. And so like this is the top corner. And I'm like, okay, not that bad. Uh, so I'm gonna continue trying. Um, maybe I'll just do this one motif and call it a day. Um, but I, I'll, I'm gonna try, we'll see. It's, it's in semi craft prison, semi. We're still considering it should go full in, like how much time. It was greens and purples, so I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so I actually went and got all of them um, just to see. And and then this bag is a, a dot dot goose bag, uh, which I like. It's, it's on the smaller side, but it works out perfectly for this one, and it fits my uh, goose snap in it. So that's always a beautiful thing. This guy definitely got very little to no love. Um, this is Cottage Garden beaver and here is oops here it is and i'm pretty much like in this belly section of him and this is on i believe a 36 or a 40 count so i'm really high count and it's one over one so um, I am enjoying it. I just have not pulled it out. It requires me to have my super magnification and I haven't been able to be in my stitchy spot a lot, um, which is where that super magnification is located. So I've been stitching kind of in other places. Do you guys do that? Like move your stitching around or like your stitchy spot around depending on what's happening in life. Um, Isaac was traveling, like I mentioned before, and because of that, my dogs talk about pains in the butt. Um, they really didn't like me sitting in my stitchy spot, so I was sitting on Isaac's spot on the sofa, so I could only do certain um, higher count, lower count items where I can actually see, because I said this before, if I was born in another century, I would not have had an employment that was uh, vertical. And this is my dismal uh, progress on the Teresa Made Me Do It Sal. I am doing the Bella Filipina La Capati. Yes, La Capati. And I started in center start around her dress. I love the fabric. I love the color um, and the modeling. So there you are. Let me make sure you can actually see it. So it's really cute. This needle minder is actually from the um, Autumn Lane Stitchery Queen of the Earth. But I had uh, two of them, and so I'm using this one here. Uh, and this is fantabulous I just have not made much progress since I first kicked it off so it'll get some love when I come back from my trip which I'll tell you about in a second the name of this fabric is by be stitch me and it is spirit of the forest Lugana 32 count in case you were interested uh, the modeling is amazing and it's coming up really good on the screen so yay there are two patterns that I've decided that I'm just not going to do. Um, I don't know if I am just never going to do them ever, or I'm just like not in the mood for them right now. Uh, one of them is Shannon Christine's Stars and Stripes. I love her work. I mean, like, it is beautiful. This is Stars and Stripes. But have I told you how much I hate stitching white? Do you see how much white there is? I mean, this goes to any Americana kind of looking one, but it's just... It's a struggle for me. Uh, my girlfriend told me to try it white sulky, so I just got it, and I'm going to try it on something else. So I don't want to totally give up on this, but yeah, just wasn't feeling it, so I'm going to put it down and then see it another time. The other one is Floss 2 Friends. Um, so Floss 2 Friends, let me find the image for you, is a beautiful sentiment. I mean, the reason I loved it was the idea that you guys are my Floss 2 Friends. You don't know this but we're all besties. You guys just don't know that yet. But who else will understand my madness of acquiring cross-stitching stuff, being a connoisseur of supplies and gadgets and not that big of a producer. I am in awe of those of you who produce so much more. But 
I love all the stuff. So I love the sentiment on this one. I had started on the third person in with, with the white dress. And then I started looking at the whole, like, design, like the colors and the, and I don't like most, most of it. I just realized, like, I, I like the sentiment. I just don't like the colors. And so, I don't know. So my brain power is not here right now for me to recolor them and then maybe do it in a different color palette and maybe that's going to make it pop for me or make it something I want to do. So for now, um, I'm just going to put it when I'm it away and then repurpose this fabric for something else. I mean, I didn't get that much progress in to begin with. Um, and that was a telltale sign for me because when I do a new start, like usually I can't wait to put more things in. For this one, I just really wasn't. So no, no foul. You know, you try things, you see if it works out, and maybe eventually I'll return to it. And if not, then, you know, um, October House Fiber Works does beautiful work, and this is beautiful. It's just not speaking to me anymore, and I'm okay with that. And with that, that is all on my list of things. We made it. Recording 25 times. So, guys, um, I am going to StitchCon um, Weekend B. Cynthia and I will be there. If you see me, please stop me, say hello, anything. I would love, 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 love to meet you and see what you are up to and ooh and ah over all the stuff that you're doing. Can't wait to get a little shopping in. Can't wait to go to Just Keep Stitching. I'm really excited about just being in a room with a bunch of people who are just loving the same stuff I am. I hope you have a fantabulous week. Get some dancing in. I got some dancing of my own in, but nothing. I'll see if I can find a little video. Uh, but guys, man, it's it's in a wonderful time and it's uh, wonderful wonderful to prepare for StitchCon. Who knows? Maybe I'll have something for the smalls exchange. Who knows? I may I may surprise you. Going to Florida uh, for Cynthia's son's graduation and my goddaughter's graduation, and then I'm gonna be in Dominican Republic to see my parents real real quick, and then it's StitchCon. So it's like a whirlwind of a few weeks. Um, good luck to us all. You take care. Bye, y'all.